Cody has told me stories Robin would share with him about things Christine did, trying to get me on the side of realizing that Christine was this horrible sister wife or whatever. That's been going on for years. So I don't know why all of a sudden it's a shock that she should leave. I really don't know what's going on. I'm trying to catch up here and I really want to understand. You know, I have no idea. Robin's acting like she's never heard this before. I think she's pretending possibly that she's never heard this before. This whole confused thing is something that happens a lot. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, December 12th, 2022. I hope you enjoyed the final episode of season 17 of Sister Wives. Wow, it's been a very long season and it's been very busy on this channel. And this episode in particular, I'm not going to rehash all of it because honestly, not that much notable happened, but there was a part in this episode where I was very intrigued by the way that Miss Janelle was revealing information about Robin that I think a lot of us have suspected but might not have known for sure because Janelle started implying and outright saying that it was Robin that was trying to turn family members against Christine for years. And then on top of that, she reveals that Robin likes to play ignorant or pretend like she doesn't know information in order to, you know, get to the bottom of things and fix things and use this as a way to pretend like she doesn't know information that she doesn't know, which is just a lie. There was a lot of really uncomfortable moments in the conversation that they had when they sat down at Mary's house, which I actually thought were a little bit more interesting than what happened over at uh, Robin's house later in the, the, the final part of the episode. Because in this portion, it's really Janelle that kind of comes out and says exactly what it is that she's thinking. And it's that she's not happy, she doesn't want to stay with Cody, and that the fact that her kids are not welcome anywhere makes it so that she doesn't feel welcome in this family and doesn't know that she wants to stick around. Throughout this conversation, Robin plays every note that she knows, including trying to to cry her way out of this, she tries to bring everyone into this conversation to get them to rally against Christine. Robin exposed her true colors without Janelle even having to say anything. But the fact that Janelle even said something just made it all that more amazing. So Sister Wives fans, dive in and let's talk about this latest topic. But before we do, can you please do me a very big favor and give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel and would love, please consider subscribing and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you know when I go live or new content loads. And as always, leave a comment if you have something to say. This episode was a lot of just the same things over and over and over again. But it was the first time that they all sat down since Christine had split. Here's the weird thing about this family is they pretend like they're super close on TV. Cody flat out admits while they all get together that they were lying to the public about how happy they were as a family. So here's my question is if you were willing to admit that you were all happy as a family and every single one of you knew that Christine wasn't happy, what else are you willing to lie about? It seems like for Cody and Robin, the lies have no limits in what they're willing to do to not only keep the show going, but also to create division within the family. A lot of people have said that Robin and Cody have this master plan to kick out every single one of the wives so that they can live together in their little monogamous happy bubble. Well, if that's the master plan, it seems to be working because in this sit down, which apparently took place months after Christine left, yeah, because we're so close, uh, Janelle tells them that she just really doesn't feel like she wants to stay. 
This admission by Janelle comes after Robin starts this whole conversation because she wants to talk about Christine leaving. During this, she brings up the whole one house idea and blames Christine for destroying that idea by revealing her truths uh, to Cody privately about you know, her reality of why she didn't want this. She also failed she also failed to mention that she didn't really want the one house and never really actually confirmed she did or didn't. She said she didn't know. On top of that, she kept trying to like push this like how hurt she was, how shocked she was, how she couldn't believe that Christine left and even after the last 18 months she would never live in one house. Bringing up the one house idea was only just a way for Robin to drag Christine. So once Robin is like continuing to drag her, she then starts crying and says that she's in this dark place and she needs to work things out with the sister wives. Christine leaving has put me in a very dark spot. Cody has told me stories Robin would share with him about things Christine did, trying to get me on the side of realizing that Christine was this horrible sister wife or whatever. That's been going on for years. I don't know why all of a sudden it's a shock that she should leave. So her crocodile tears are coming down and it's so clear that Janelle is just like not buying it. She knows it's fake, it's all phony. And you know, because she's in a dark place and she was shocked. There was nothing shocking about this. And that's what Janelle says. She was telling Cody for years that Christine was this horrible person and wanted her out of the family and wanted people to turn against her. And so now I don't know why she's so shocked that Christine left. Remember how Christine said that she doesn't trust people that stab her in the back? That's probably what they're talking about. And they don't really have a response to that other than Robin flat out saying, I never talked to Cody about the sister wives. That doesn't serve me well. And Cody doesn't deny it happened. She just, he deflects and says, well, Janelle said stuff about Christine and Christine said stuff about Janelle. So that's irrelevant. No, it's not. If Janelle, if Chris, if Robin was trying to conspire against Christine, that proves what the feelings that Christine was having on top of that, it proves that all of this is just fake. It's phony. It's for the cameras. It's for her to get attention. And it's another way for her to drag Christine. This whole setup is literally so Robin can have her time to drag Christine. And Janelle's like, it's fake. It's phony, you know? And I just kept watching this and I'm like, it's so obvious the tricks that Robin was resorts to to try to convince people to say things and manipulate them. Cody tries to praise her communication skills and says that she's like this donkey that walks around this thing and she just keeps on going. I actually think she's just really manipulative. She will try to play the tears. She will try to play the emotions. She tries to feign ignorance and that she doesn't understand. She tries to feign like concern when she doesn't really have the concern. And she sticks to the same points that she lies so much that she probably convinces herself it's true. It's so disturbing. And it just keeps getting worse because as she keeps going, then Janelle just says that she doesn't want to work it out. And to be honest with you, I really don't know if I want to do the work. Like I'm basically, it feels like I'm being forced to choose between my children and this group. I don't feel like my children are welcome. Do you say there's more than just Gabe and Garrison? There's a general disgruntlement. Janelle's rationalization for her not being comfortable even working things out because Here's the thing, Robin wants them all to say whether or not they wanna work things out, right? And she keeps saying like, if you don't wanna work it out, I need to hear it. Mary's like, we've already talked about this, Robin. You know I'm going to stay. But Mary was also calling Cody's treatment about Christine and the discrepancies with how he's treated her disturbing. And he found she found the parallels disturbing, yet she says she'll stick around for 30 more years. But when Janelle says that she doesn't want to because she's feeling like she has to pick between her kids and them, 
And she says, like, she goes on this thing about how, you know, Cody makes them, wants them to apologize. And, and she even says that it's not just Garrison. It's all of her kids that are upset with Cody. Robin pretends like she has no clue, again, that this happened. And then Cody thinks that they're talking behind her back. They're all talking behind his back. I mean, maybe. Aren't you all talking behind their back? He's always the victim. And isn't he the one that was talking with Robin about getting Christine out of the family? This whole thing is so convoluted and stupid. But it's, again, just another way for Janelle to point out that this whole thing is them playing stupid and acting like they don't oh know. God. I really don't know what's going on. I'm trying to catch up here. Robin's acting like she's never heard this before. I think she's pretending possibly that she's never heard this before because Cody's a blabbermouth. This whole confused thing is something that happens a lot. At the end of the day, I think I'd rather be with my kids. I mean, oh, it's true. Cody doesn't keep any secrets, right? So Robin's like pretending like she has no clue that any of the other kids have problems, even though they've already talked about that this season. And it not just being an issue with Garrison Gabriel. I mean, they've talked about all of the kids having issues and being, pro you know, Cody has talked about it. They're, they're just plain stupid. And he has said multiple times they can't come for over unless they apologize to him. And then, you know, Robin's trying to like act like, oh, no, it's uh, they just need to have a conversation. And, and Cody's like, yeah, it's just a conversation. And Janelle's just like, I Mm, I just want to pick my kids. I don't want to do this anymore. So Robin wanted to hear if someone wanted to work it out. She wanted to hear the truth. And when she heard the truth, then she had to resort to crying. And instead of just crying, she then tries to explain away Cody's bad treatment of his entire family because Christine left him. And so she's trying to say that the reason why Cody mistreats Janelle and her kids and even her and Mary is because Christine left him and Christine's a woman and Cody is mad at women and it's all because of Christine. So when she can't get her to buy into the tears about, you know, I'm in a dark place, then it turns into, well, Cody can't help it because of Christine. So then there she is actually trying to turn Janelle against Christine. And it's just, it's plain stakingly obvious what she's doing. She's trying every technique to try to get her to turn against Christine and join them. But she said she wanted them to know if they wanted to work it out. And when Janelle said no, she couldn't accept the answer. And I've told him several times, I feel like he's lining up all women and I'm there, you're there and you're there. He's shooting us all down because Christine is a woman and he's angry and he's hurt. The final attempt by Robin was to just say that, you know, they're all getting lined up and Cody's doing this because they're women and so is Christine. And so it's like, you're just getting, you're not the only one being treated bad, Janelle. So am I. And Janelle doesn't want to work it out. And she said, it's easier for me to just walk away. I don't have the energy to deal with this. And she's again trying to cry. And like, so Janelle has put a boundary down I, multiple times. I don't want to work on this. And then again, I don't want to work on this. And then Robin again starts crying. Cody praises her for being a great communicator. She starts crying again. And then Janelle just ends it and leaves and says, I have to go. I have to go get Savannah. To then they're like, oh, do you want to show your plans? And then that's it. But Cody wanted them to go deeper and continue on that conversation. The only furthering they would have gone would have been continued attempts by Robin to try to get Janelle to admit or to stay and admit that it's Christine that's to blame. And the thing is, is that Robin wants Janelle to stay. She wants everyone to work things out, but she also doesn't want it. I mean, I can't see how they do want it. I think Janelle, Co I think Cody and Robin want the show to stay. I know their money they make is from the show and they're probably desperate to keep that nest egg and that money coming in. On top of that, when Janelle leaves, it's another wife's income that they don't have. And if you remember, they only were able to purchase Robin's house because Janelle and Mary gave proceeds 
to her to buy the house, their own proceeds from the sales of their own home. So you're gonna be taking out money that Janelle makes from working, you're gonna be taking out money that Christine makes from working, they're down 40% of their income. 40% of their income is walking out the door when Janelle leaves because Christine's taking 20% of it with her. So they're only gonna have 60% of that income that they had and the bulk of the money that they have left is coming from Mary. So only Mary's income can like give Robin the life that she wants. Robin doesn't have a job outside of the home. Robin doesn't want to work outside of the home. Robin wants a nanny. She wants the benefits of a cushy life. And then this is where we're going to tell you a little bit of tea that I learned over the weekend. So we're going to wrap up this video by letting you know that over the weekend I spoke to a journalist that actually has worked in the world of polygamy, polygamy since the 1970s. This journalist has covered every single sect, every single of the like crimes that have happened. The journalist doesn't cover the gossip stuff from Sister Wives and was just relaying this sort of funny anecdote that they had learned about the Brown family over the years. And that was that in the early 2000s, even before the show was on the air, way before the show was on the air, the Browns had become involved with the Principal Voices, which we've talked about, which is this advocacy group that was working to decriminalize polygamy. Christine had become a very like vocal, outspoken person, and as a member of the AUB, was very well known because of the work she was doing. And she had been given a, she had been, give, been given a position with the government on this board to help, you know, with census numbers for polygamists. She was also part of these different uh, like groups that were coming together to talk about, you know, ways to reduce crime and polygamy and having better methods to report things and resources for people that stayed in polygamy. And within that, Christine and Cody's work was getting noticed. And this was years before years before they were ever on the show. I actually found an article from 2002 from when Cody and uh, Christine were starting to get noticed in the media and it just kept on moving. And so as they continued to do more and more work and got more and more exposure and got more and more noticed and had established relationships with all these different legislators, they were uh, featured, Christine was featured in interviews with HBO and she also was uh, featured on a, I think an ABC piece, a 2020 episode. And on top of that, she was also uh, featured, the whole family was featured in the BBC. So they were getting a lot of publicity and they were becoming well known in their circles. And apparently this person said that that intrigued Robin. And Robin had been married to David, but she and David did not have a very well like established life they were me living very meagerly and robin just had uh, aspirations for more she didn't want to just be stuck in montana and she wanted the fame she wanted uh money she wanted to be known and she has admitted in her book becoming sister wives that her goal was to get interviewed by oprah uh change the world write a best-selling book uh make money start her own business and she did that as soon as she joined the family. So within the span of a year and a half, she left David and moved to Utah and was connected to the Browns and made it known to the family that she had interest in courting Cody. Now, I don't know if that's her master plan, but I will say that the journalist said that Robin, that choice by Robin had a lot of people up in Pinesdale where she was from very scratching their heads like they were like oh she has an agenda well she got what she wanted and it's clear that she likes the attention and she likes she's she doesn't have to she's a kept woman now there's also been chatter that she's all about what she, the show and she's these relationships she has aren't as like truthful as they seem and she's not as kind and caring to the kids off camera as she pretends to be on tv so robin the gold digger maybe but I think there's something to it. And especially with these crocodile tears, Janelle exposed her, won't go along with the lies anymore. And Robin just proved that she will do anything to keep a show, keep her paycheck, as long as she can get people to not like Christine.
And I think it's because Christine was her biggest threat, to be honest. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.